Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. I have a bunch of freshly launched products from Kat Von D. You guys know I have been a big fan of her line for a very long time. And the Serpentina palette kind of started this whole idea for the video. And I have to give a major shout out and big, huge, just like huge thank you to the subscriber at the Style Code Live meetup that gifted me this. That was the sweetest thing ever. It just about like made me burst into tears. I, I'm I'm not used to people giving me gifts like that. And this was so generous. I was going to order this myself 100%. Everything else that you see here was not sent to me. I purchased with my own money. And I just had to tell you guys that this actually was a gift and it was the sweetest thing ever. Oops, let's have this guy go back in his home. Um, this was the sweetest thing ever. And I will always, always think of that day and you whenever I use this palette. So thank you so much. Mwah. I also just want to throw it out there to you guys that I am here to give you a break from all the chaos in the world and I just want to keep the comment section calm and I do not want anything to come up with any of the recent controversy um, surrounding this, not this brand, but if you guys look anywhere from Instagram to Twitter to YouTube, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm here to review makeup. I'm here to talk about really cool product that excites me. And I really just don't like even looking, participating, picking sides in any of the gossip kind of stuff. It just, for me, feels really gross. It doesn't bring me anything positive. And I hope you guys take a moment and maybe think to do the same. Like, pay attention to other things going on in your life that make you really, really happy instead of arguing with each other or picking sides and all of this kind of chaotic, you know, he said, she said stuff. And it extends even further than just YouTube, you know, the whole like Taylor Swift and Kim K thing. It just like everywhere you turn, it seems like people are just like battling it out. It makes me really sad, to be honest. And when something makes me sad, I know that that is the moment when I need to kind of switch gears and focus on something different and positive. And for me, makeup has always been such a huge escape and it's always helped me to kind of get out of whatever funk I am in. It's colorful, it's creative. It is something that really inspires me. And I hope that when you take time to watch my channel that you walk away from that 10 minute video feeling like, oh, I just had a nice little time out from a lot of the chaos and heartbreak and just heaviness of the world. So that is something that's really important to me with my channel and I just want you guys to remember that. Please be kind to each other. That is like the motivation of the day and now on to makeup. So let's start with the Serpentina palette. I was reading online that Kat was very inspired by Cleopatra. It has this very like regal royal vibe to it. And I am wearing a lot of the colors on my eyes today and I freaking love them. In fact, the loose powder that you get in here, this guy is called Profit. I don't have anything like this. This is so unusual and gorgeous. It's almost like a khaki bronze, but it's still very golden somehow. It's just a really beautiful, unusual color. It looks great all over the lid. You could use this wet or dry, very pigmented, very smooth, very long wearing. I love it. You can also layer this on top of any of the other colors. It just has like a nice shine to it. So that is what is all over my lid and I really, really enjoy it. I'm also wearing blood milk, which I am barely tapping my finger in that. It is super intense. So let me kind of like tap through this palette and show you which ones are the best and which ones are kind of mm. So this one right here next to it, the shade Medusa is also gorgeous. I have this just kind of on the outer corner a little bit, barely, kind of to blend profit in and kind of fan it out to this beautiful red. This is like a deep brown, chocolatey brown that has a little bit of gold micro glitter. Again, do we see how smooth that is? And we have Queen, gorgeous. Look at all of these. This is like getting you ready for fall. This is like jewel tone, beautifulness. I can't even get over how smooth these are. The formula is fantastic. Then you have Hieroglyph. This one's a little bit, not chalky, but you might have some fallout issues. I think I would use this with a little bit of setting spray, wet it a little bit to do more of a foiled effect, but it's a beautiful copper shade. 
Then we have Nile, which is very, very bright for a blue. I have a few of these kind of blue shades in my collection and it's really disappointing sometimes when you actually put them on and they don't stay super bright. This one actually stays really, really bright and I have half a mind to do a tutorial. I know I don't do tutorials too often. Maybe I'll do a snap tutorial, but let me know if you wanna see like a really vibrant, jewel toned blue deep blue smoky eye that could be really fun and then this emerald shade right next door a little bit stiffer you're not going to have as much of an issue with fallout but look at that oh my god i want this on my eye right now this is beautiful can you imagine like the kind of liner look you could do with this too it's just freaking stunning then you have the shade venom which is a matte purple also beautiful i think this palette is 100 100% worth the money. This is a beautiful palette. It is $45 and I want to show you something really quick. One moment. This right here is from Viseart. This is a matte kind of jewel toned palette. This is like $100. Really beautiful, really smooth. But if I were to compare the two and get really excited about one over the other, I have to say the Kat Von D one has more texture, shine, you still get some matte shades with that purple and the red, and I just, I feel like I'm going to use this more than I will this guy right here. I know a lot of you have wanted me to review Busy Art palettes, they're super expensive, I'm always super intimidated to bring that to the table. They are good, there's nothing wrong with these, but if you've had your eye on something like this but you don't want that price commitment, especially for a full matte jewel tone palette then I think the Serpentina palette is incredible and you get that beautiful pigment in there as well. Okay, 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 moving on. This is really exciting to me. I think it is so impressive because I know this is so hard to do. I have talked with so many you know, founders, company owners, CEOs of different makeup companies and it is really difficult to launch a ton of shades that suit everyone all at once. And to bring out more than like five shades at once is a huge commitment, especially with a new formula launch. And I just have to say my hat is off in such a major, major way to Kat for coming out with 20 shades of her new concealer. There is not a skin tone out there that is not gonna be able to find the perfect shade. So I purchased these myself. I just wanted to see out of the lighter shades if there were a ton of differences with the tone, and there are. I mean, these are done really, really well. They're very minimal differences, but they make a big impact, especially when you're highlighting, when you are using it underneath the eye, when you're trying to match your skin. It's just really well thought out as far as the color selection. I do not have the darker ones here to swatch. These are $26 a piece. Again, I purchased this all myself. Um, I didn't know going into Sephora that there were 20 shades. I actually had employees go in the back and pull concealers. I was like, hey, do you have this? Because I saw them kind of building the new display. And they're like, um, let us check in the back. And they brought out what concealers they had kind of easily for them to grab. So I took what I could. I'm sorry I don't have the full range. If I did, I definitely would be swatching up my arm for you. But we will take a peek at what I do have and talk about the formula. So I have three of the neutrals and three of the warms. I have neutral L5, neutral L9, and neutral M21. I also have warm L7, warm M17, and warm M25. I am wearing this concealer today and I have been wearing it all week. I do really, really love it. If I were to battle it out between my new like obsession that you guys have heard me talk about a lot, the Tarte Shape Tape is such an interesting formula. I have never tried anything like it. It's a huge applicator. It's a ton of product that gets spread all over your face. Some people are gonna love it. Some people are not gonna love it. I have been really, really into it because I can highlight really fast and it doesn't crease on me, but that being said, the Locket formula does wear a little bit longer. So it's not as thick going on, it's not as big of a wand, but it does wear longer. You do need to set it or it will crease. And the one thing that I did find is you don't wanna over blend it with your fingertips. If you are patting and you blend a little bit too much, you're gonna skip the product over and you might have an issue blending things out. If you use the concealer brush that she just brought out, it goes on beautifully. 
I actually still prefer using a beauty blender. That's just me. So I have been applying this concealer with a beauty blender, but I do have this brush and I want to share with you. I'm using it for something other than concealer and it's like the greatest thing ever and I highly recommend anybody that has an issue with their lower lash line and shadow get this brush it will change everything so what I use it for is actually grabbing product and I'm able to go underneath here and because of its shape I can just blend everything out so easily and the brush is so soft and you can see it kind of has this like, like, I don't even know what kind of shape. It's just tapered up at the edge and it just fits. It like tucks right in there and nothing like the brush itself will catch any fallout. You're not going to get any of the darkness underneath here, which you don't want. It's just the perfect smudger brush. And it's, you wouldn't think that because it's so large, but I just one day was like, oh, let me blend things out and then I was like oh like that really works that's gonna be my new favorite thing for that and now is the grand finale is actually my favorite product of all of this I feel like this powder was designed for baking and you guys know I am so hooked on the La Prairie cellular powder that stuff is magic magic but this stuff right here is magic too and it's only $30 which $30 is still really expensive for a powder, I get it, but it's not $80, which the La Prairie is. It's gonna work for everyone because it is translucent. I think it's cute that the jar itself has a star for your sifter. Through and through, the packaging is gorgeous. And this powder is so soft. It's so, so soft, but it's not like an HD powder that's gonna kick off a ton of flashback. It is a just very different texture than most powders that I've used, and I love this for baking. It's so good. It does not crackle or sit in the lines or anything. It just kind of smooths everything out. It does work well on the rest of the face. I'm wearing it today. I think it's beautiful. I have been photographing myself. That sounds so weird. I've been taking pictures and selfies and posting a lot on Instagram, and there's no weird white cast under the eye. Um, I've been wearing this non-stop. So I say big thumbs up to that. Kat did bring out a powder brush, which is supposed to be good for baking under here. This brush I could do without just because I like really giant brushes. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I have them behind me to be clean, but like giant brushes are what I like to kind of go around the face. And then I do enjoy baking with my beauty blender. So this for me is something that's not an absolute must have, but it still is a nice, soft, nice brush. If you need a powder brush, it's a good one, but yeah. She did also bring out a foundation brush, which I have not used. This is kicking off powder because I actually was packing on powder, seeing if this would work. That actually does work. Um, but I haven't used it for foundation, so I can't really give you a 100% yes or no. It's the same kind of shape, but bigger of the other small guy that I like to smudge underneath the eye. Uh, that is that, and have a good day whatever you are doing. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.